The Bongo Diplomacy of Richard Feynman How a Nobel Laureate Stole Tokyo's Heart In 1965, Richard Feynman arrived in Tokyo to lecture on quantum physics, fresh off his Nobel win. Japanese academia braced for a stern genius. They got a man in a Hawaiian shirt clutching bongos. The trouble began when a Kyoto University dean insisted Feynman deliver a traditional lecture. No jokes, no theatrics, he warned. Feynman agreed, then opened with, I'm here to explain how light works. But first, let's discuss why your sushi rolls are better than my equations. The crowd froze. Translators panicked. Feynman grinned and pulled out a glass of ice water. Watch this. It's cheaper than Kabuki Theater. He bent light through the glass, projecting rainbows onto the ceiling. Physicists gasped. The dean turned pale. Later, at a formal dinner, a journalist needled him. Why play the fool when you're a Nobelist? Feynman grabbed chopsticks and drummed a jazz rhythm on his plate. Same reason your tea tastes better in a crooked cup. Perfection's boring. The room erupted. Even the dean chuckled. But the true spectacle came at a secret jazz club in Osaka. Feynman, invited by grad students, challenged a renowned taiko drummer to a rhythm duel. For an hour, they traded beats, Feynman's bongos versus thunderous taiko. The crowd chanted as sweat soaked Feynman's shirt. Finally, he spun his drum, bowing. I yield. You've got more dimensions than string theory. Weeks later, a Kyoto paper printed a cartoon, Feynman as a laughing samurai, juggling atoms and drums. Students began smuggling bongos into lectures. When he left, a customs officer found his suitcase stuffed with green tea and a note for the dean to loosen his theory. Decades on, that club hosts an annual Feynman night where physicists and drummers collide. His ice water trick remains a staple in Japanese classrooms. He taught us rigor needs joy, a retired professor recalls. Like electrons, serious business, but always dancing. Genius isn't a statue. It's a rhythm, a joke, a rainbow on the ceiling, and Feynman knew the beat.